welcome friend so today we'll uh, continue our discussion and we'll find out the deflection of joint of a truss by using unit load method when truss is subjected to change in temperature and lack of fit so uh, like deflection of a joint uh, we can calculate using unit load method uh, so we already use uh, this method to calculate deflection of a joint using unit load method because of external load so in which like we use this k into delta but delta were equal to pl by a so like we already used the equation delta equal to summation pl k by a e so this is nothing but summation k into delta where delta equal to pl by ae so if you look it carefully then this is the equation of change in length of a bar which is subjected to load p where p is load internal uh, load in a member due to external load so this is what we have discussed so same equation we can extend for other cases when there is a change in length due to uh, temperature change and lack of fit so in general we can uh, find out the deflection of joint using the same equation only this delta now it will have different meaning so uh, delta this delta is a deflection of a joint in the direction of unit load applied so or in other word this delta is the deflection uh, uh, the desired deflection that we want to calculate and in that direction we apply unit load or otherwise the deflection in the direction of unit load so if you get positive answer at the end then it represent the deflection in the is in the direction of unit load or if you get a minus value or negative value then it indicate that whatever the unit load you have applied the deflection will be opposite in the direction magnitude will remain same now k is the internal force due to unit load so uh, k like we already calculated in previous problem that is deflect uh, internal force in the member due to unit load so we apply unit load in the direction of the desired deflection now delta here this delta now i am not considering it is just pl by e but it has some other meaning now the change in length of member so this change in length of a member now this change in length of a member can be because of this load it can be because of change in temperature it can be because of lack of fit so uh, this delta is the change in length due to external load if so if it is due to external load then this delta will be equal to pl by e where p is the member force due to applied load right this is what we already done in previous problem now second due to change in length so if there is a change in length uh, sorry if there is a change in temperature then there will be change in length of a member so we already discuss uh, in the strength of material if there is a bar and the temperature is changing by t sometime it is also written as delta t so then change in length of a bar is given by equation alpha t l so if you multiply this alpha t l due to change in length of a member with k you will get a deflection of a joint along the uh, unit load applied due to change in temperature then finally uh, this delta f that is uh, lack of fit this capital delta f is like represent lack of fit and this small delta f is change in uh, I, I mean this uh, small delta f represent either uh, member is too short or too long that length amount by which it is too short or too length that is represented now the total change in length is equal to this is change in length of member is equal to it may be due to the external load may be due to the temperature change or due to lack of fit so it may be like uh, any two component can be zero one component can be zero or two, like that 
So in previous case, we did not consider this two component. We had only this one component. So now, uh, like if you substitute this delta in this equation, we'll get change, uh, deflection of a joint is equal to K into delta L plus delta T plus delta F. Now, if you rearrange the terms, then what you'll get is summation K delta L plus summation K delta T plus summation K delta F. Now, in previous problem, we have only considered this part because we haven't considered change in length and lack of fit effect. So, in previous case, we solved the problem without considering these two terms. Now, we have to consider these two terms as well. So, we'll see the example and you'll understand more. Now, we'll continue with the same example. Say, same truss is given. Uh, whose cross-sectional area of all member we are assuming as like 1000 mm square. Eng's modulus is 200 kN per mm square and this is for all the member. Lengths are like 4, 4 meter. All angles are 60 degrees. So, length of each member will be 4 meter now. Now, what we have to find out is the deflection of joint C in vertical direction. Now, we have to find out deflection of the C in vertical direction. And it is due to external load, 100 kN load acting at point D in vertical downward direction. Then the member DE, member DE, this member is found 5 mm too short. So this is not 4 meter, it is little less. It is uh, like 4, uh, sorry, 5 mm too short and DC and DE. D, C and D, E, this two diagonal member or inclined member, it found 2 mm too long. So, this two member are too long, this two mem this one member is too short. So, this is short by 5 mm, this two are long by 2 mm. And then third, uh, then there is a rise in temperature of A, C and B, C member by 20 degree. AC and BC member. So, there is a change in temperature of this two member. So, it may be possible uh, that uh, temperature of all truss member can change or only one or two member can change. So, like we'll see that if there is a change in temperature of two member, then how we can incorporate that same procedure you can apply for all the member if there is a change in temperature of all truss member. Now, because of this 100 kN, we have already calculated in previous class, so I am not going to calculate that. We will use same calculation. In fact, uh, we can use same uh, table, uh, we, we can modify that table and we can calculate uh, like effect of this two. For this two, as such you don't need to do any calculation or that calculation can be done in the table itself. So, like I have prepared a table, I have modified that table. So, like uh, this is the modified force table. So, it has like some column, some more column has got added. So, in previous uh, like table, this member, length, area, these were there. Then this two column I have added, one is corresponding to the change in length, another one is corresponding to the lack of fit. Then P, K, again these two columns were there, so same those two columns. Uh, this column was also there, but in different way. But, uh, so this is corresponding to the change in length uh, of member into K due to applied load. And this two more column we have added. So this two column are one, this first column is due to change in temperature and this is due to lack of fit. So, uh, the temperature like if you see, so for BC member and AC member it is rising by 20 degree centigrade. So, if it is rising then we will put positive sign or like plus and if it is falling then it should be minus. Similarly, if lack of fit is too short then minus, if it is too long then plus. So, like if you see in the problem DC member is 5 mm too short, so minus 5 mm and sorry DE member there and DC and EC member they are 2 mm too long so positive to positive to right? now this column they are easy to calculate so this is K that is this column 
like uh, force in a member due to unit load multiplied by change in length of the member which we can calculate using PL by E equation that is what we have discussed so like uh, K you will get it from here then P it's like here then uh, AE like A and E is constant so that value you can directly take it from here even in your problem by chance like members are of different material then you can have one more column for E and alpha but since like uh, generally the truss will be of same material so that's how we directly they, they take this two value there won't be separate column for them right so that's how you can calculate these values right which we have already done in uh, like previous problem you add them and this two uh, represent the deflection of joint C in vertical direction the direction along which we have applied unit load which is downward 1 kN load so this 2 mm will be downward deflection downward deflection now to find out the deflection of joint C due to change in temperature what we have to do like there is a change in temperature of this two member 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 BC and AC so that we can calculate using K delta T equation so K delta T is equal to alpha TL that is change in temperature due to rise in temperature so no doubt only these two members are there whose temperature is changing by chance if temp change in temperature is for all the member then you can have like same value at all or maybe you can remove this column you can directly write down that value here and then alpha uh, sorry t value you can directly substitute that but since here for some member it is zero for some member there is a change in temperature so like for this bc and ac member there is a change in temperature so you can again calculate k this value multiplied by alpha alpha is constant alpha then t t is change in temperature and l from this column okay so this is how you can calculate these values right since the length is same change in temperature is same uh, alpha is same so this two value will be same then last column due to lack of fit so this column is, lit, is uh, a little easy to calculate only like k that is again the member force due to unit load multiplied by actual value of lack of fit so this member is uh, like to 5 mm to short so minus 5 but here also it is minus 5.77 so minus minus it will become plus so even though the length of this member is like too short it will increase the deflection of joint C in downward direction similarly here if you see this two member then they are 2 mm too long so though they are positive but since these values are also positive so like here the deflection will also be positive so this this is the like if you add these all values then this will give you the deflection of joint C in vertically downward direction due to lack of fit this is the deflection of joint C that is addition of this column this is the deflection of joint C in vertically downward direction along the unit load applied so total deflection will be the addition of this three value which is comes out to be 7.75 mm this is how you can calculate lack of fit and temperature uh, effect in addition to the applied load so this is like how you can consider lack of fit so this is like the end of uh, uh, unit load method this much you have in your syllabus so now uh, like there will be one problem related to this that I'll give in Google class. So uh, please uh, solve that even I'll mention the deadline for that class. Okay. Thank you.